how to upload an already existing file or folder into your Google Drive. The first thing that you should do, and this is a one time only, is head up to the top right hand corner to the gear sprocket, or what I like to think of as the flower. And when you select this, go to the upload settings and choose confirm settings before each upload. Now, let's go to the top left hand corner to the download at the upload um, icon. When you select this, I'm just going to upload a file for now. We check this, it's already in my file, but you can go to the desktop or to uh, any other location to upload a file. I'm just going to upload a simple Word document for now. Of course, you can double click on it or select the file and click open. This is the setting that I chose earlier, that each time I upload a file or folder, I will be asked to confirm the type of format that will be imported. If you want to be able to manipulate, edit, or change the document file uh, or folder that you upload, always choose the first. Convert documents to the corresponding Google Docs format. That will allow editing and sharing. If it's a document that you do not want changed, perhaps it's a test or handout for a student or class, then choose Convert Text from PDF and Image Files to Google Documents. If you choose this, remember you will not be able to edit it. I do want to edit it, so I will keep it checked in the Convert to Google Docs and begin my upload. And here we have it. The uploading is 100% complete and my document just appeared in my Google Drive. At this point, we can exit out of that box and I can open up the document. In the opened section of the document, this is where I have the opportunity to share the document and to change the sharing setting. At this point, my default is private to only me, so that as I'm uploading documents and working on them, no one else is sharing that with me. But I usually am doing this so that I can, in fact, share it. Once I'm happy with the format it's in, you choose the share, and here, where I have it at private, I can change this. And we have a number of different options. Public on the web is an option, though probably not one any of us would need to be using. Our usual options will be share within the Google Drive at blakeschool.org. So anyone at Blake can find this document. Or people at the Blake School with the link. That, uh, that option is when you want to share it with a class or with, um, say, a committee of faculty members. So I'm going to choose this one and choose Save. Another option is down here at the Add People. You can click on this box and add any person, uh, any person, period, but all of our Blake emails are in here. So if I just choose to share this with, for example, David Boxer. As you see below, as I'm typing his name, I'm given all of the choices of names in the, in the Blake School that begin with those letters. So it's very similar to the way we searched for names in first class. I see David's name, I select it. This is very important. Before I, sh I save this and share it with David, I want to unclick this is very important. Unclick notify people via email. If you do not do that, every student's email will come to you when you invite them. So if you invite all of your eighth graders, you will be inundated with 85 emails. So please request they do that. Once it's been done, share and save. And we, yes, happily skip invitations click done and we are ready to go. We have successfully uploaded a file and we have now shared it with members of the Blake community.